Candace. Hi, Kara. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing great. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining once again. It's always great chatting with you. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So what are some great ways parents can save money this spring? Well, you know, with spring obviously comes busy schedules, you know, everything from sporting practices, you know, to nicer weather, longer days, people wanting to spend time outside. Um, so you really don't want to get caught up in the house, in the kitchen, you know, spending all your time there. So, you know, it's important for parents to have shortcuts for getting things done. You know, simplify things like, you know, uh, you know, utilizing things at the store like, you know, already cut vegetables or fruits, things that you can just kind of grab and go if you're headed out the door or even just use for dinner so that you don't have to spend time in the kitchen prepping. Um, so I've actually partnered with some of my favorite brands today to also share with you some other things that, you know, can help with, you know, pleasing the family as well as staying organized. So let's start with the kids because, you know, most parents want to make sure their kids are happy. Um, so I have brought with me here this Mott's Juice Drinks. Uh, they're perfect for kids. They have these really great bold flavors like this Fruit Punch Rush and Strawberry Boom. Uh, they're just a really great, you know, bold flavored, you know, juice drink that kids really like. 40% um, less sugar, uh, no artificial sweeteners, and 100% of your daily vitamin C. And they come in different sizes, you know, so you can have one in the refrigerator, but you can grab one of the eight ounce, you know, bottles on the go if you head it out, or even to throw in the lunch boxes. And do you have any advice when it comes to organizing? Definitely. I think, you know, with spring, obviously people think about spring cleaning, so you want to stay organized. You know, I know personally I use like a different set of dishes in the wintertime than I do in the spring, so a lot of people are, say, you know, cleaning out their cabinets or maybe they're going through their pantry and getting rid of things that have, you know, you know, expired past their date or whatnot. So I do have a suggestion for that. These duck brand liners are perfect for all of your needs. Everything from your drawers to your cupboards, pantries, even your laundry room. This smooth top easy liner is actually a non-adhesive liner. So you can switch them out real easily. They come in all different designs and decorations. And so if you wanna, you know, just have a, a different look for, you know, spring, this is a great option. And they also have these new adhesive liners like this chalkboard or this dry erase liner. Uh, the dry erase is perfect for, say, if the kids want to organize their toys and you have, you know, those bins that they want to separate things into. You can actually affix it to the bin and then you can label it. So it's just a great way to stay organized and keep track of where everything is. And these liners are also um, really easy to take care of. Um, they wipe down easily, so if, you know, if there's a mess or something spilled on them, no problem. And you can actually throw them in the washing machine. So they're super durable and, you know, easy to use. Unlike our grandparents, you know, where they had those ones that, you know, affixed into everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and do you have any uh, mealtime suggestions for parents on a budget? Well, I definitely think that if you plan ahead and you, um, you know, definitely what I like to do is at the beginning of the month, think about what I might need for the whole month, you know, maybe in the meat department. I might, yeah, I might say get, you know, a bulk package of chicken so that I know I have so many meals. And I make sure that I do that in the beginning of the month so that I'm not spending my money on, you know, sort of all those extras that we, you know, inevitably pick up at the grocery store. So I think definitely making sure that you have all the necessities up front is key. And also, um, you know, making meals that you can get more than one meal out of so that if you're making, you know, like the other night I made sauce. So we had, you know, dinner that night with it and then I freeze the rest so I have it for another time. So, you know, just thinking in ways that you can, you know, maximize a meal and, and turn it into more than just one. Absolutely. And do you have any additional tips or information like to share with us? Absolutely. I think, you know, for, you know, most parents, the key is just sort of planning ahead. You know, I like to, the night before school, make sure I pick out all my kids' clothes. I like to prepack their lunches because I know a lot of parents feel that, you know, mornings are too rushed and they don't have time to make lunches, especially if you have multiple kids. So I make sure that I prepack them at night so that in the morning all we have to do is throw in a drink and, you know, maybe a sandwich. I think that's important. And, you know, as the warm weather is approaching and the kids are going to be, you know, getting out of school, et cetera, you know, make sure to spend some time over the summer reading with your kids. I know that a lot of parents tend to, you know, shift routine, you know, it's more flexible in the summer, but it is super important to make sure to keep them on track so that when school starts up again, they're ready to go. And where can we go for more information? You can visit mots.com to find out more about the juice drinks. Go to duck brand.com to see patterns and find out more about these and you know your uh, viewers can go to my website which is 
livinghardy.com. I have all kinds of tips, information, and recipes up there. Wonderful. Well, thank you as always, Tara. I appreciate it. Have a great afternoon. All right, you too, Candace. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.